Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, I bring you today amazing, incredible content that I obtained completely legally, paid for and wholesomely, with zero piracy involved. Not that I am really against piracy, necessarily, but today has been Hotel Episode 1 has finally dropped, baby! It is finally here! Support the official release, you stupid motherfuckers. What, what are you watching this on? I literally paid for the pre-release. This is this is totally kosher, okay? And I'm just saying, I will be adding my incredible commentary and critique, and this will be edited and heavily edited for the YouTube shit. So, guys, this is not a leak. This is an actual reaction with my transformative commentary and content, and it will be fire! I am literally so excited. I've been waiting Literally waiting. I spent fifty thousand dollars to be self-inserted into this weird femdom has been hotel hentai. You haven't heard the news, but we are getting into it, baby. It is going to be absolutely positively fire, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be incredible. We have waited years, four years, for has been hotel to finally arrive. We are getting it. Here's the new, new version of episode one. I am literally so excited. You have no idea how excited I am. I will not lie. They did not do a good job marketing this release. But that's a discussion for another day. The hype is real. The boners are up. Something is rising and it's not the shield hero. Let's see it, baby. Let's freaking go. I can't believe it's here. I can't believe it's finally here. What can I say? I'm a big fan. I'm a big freaking fan. Okay, baby. Yo! I can't believe it's here! Freak, dude, my heart. My heart. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Dude! <laughs> my heart can't take it, dude. You don't understand. Like, I am a legitimate fan. Like, you have all these guys saying, Husband Hotel is a show that's pretty good, everyone. Tried to suck some clout juice out of here. I was a Husband Hotel stand since day, well, whenever they released it. I am so into dark comedies, raunchy dark comedies where they say the fuck word a lot. Yes, yes. Once Lord. upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. Wow, this is Christian propaganda. Get me out of here. What is this? What, what, what are we doing here? It was ruled by beings of pure light. Angels that worship. Yo! They even got the biblically accurate date angels. Bro, Matt Pat's out there. He's. <laughs> biblically accurate. Lore. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. Oh, he, pr things probably turned out really well for him. He seems like a really upstanding citizen, honestly. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas. Yeah, they, that's what they call me, a dreamer, right before they try to cancel me. Oh, Nux, he's a dreamer. Anyway, let's call him a pedophile with no evidence. All of creation, but he was seen as a troublemaker by the... Okay, dude, you're really sucking that propaganda juice right here. This is China saying that, dude, we did Taiwan a favor when we tried to take their agency and murder their children. The elders of heaven, for they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. <laughs> Uh, when he tried to overthrow God and throw the world into chaos, they just didn't understand. He was just trying to help. He was such a free spirit. Okay, dude. He watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth, they created Adam and Lilith. Equals as the first of yes. mankind, but despite this... Dude, this is... What is this? Bible lore? Dude, can't wait for the, uh, the, the woke uh, freaking localizers to localize the Bible. You thought it was Adam and Eve, but it is Adam and Steve! Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn She's something of a feminist, Lilith. ...in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Aw, they're dreamers, okay? They're dreamers, they're wholesome, they're like... They're like cute, and nothing bad happened, I promise. Together. They wish to share the magic of free will with humanity. They're just misunderstood, honestly. Offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse. <laughs> For with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. 
as punishment for their reckless act. Dude, I love this lore drop. This is such a great way to start the show, honestly. Now, Adam and Lilith actually is like, um, it's it's not like this is straying from the original Bible per se. This is, um, it is talked about in the Apocrypha that they're, that Adam's first wife was Lilith. Like this, th this is a very popular um, philosophy. Cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity. Dude, I love that they're really starting with this lore. I'm, I'm creaming all over the place. Only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream. Oh, Lucifer, he was such a good guy. You didn't... <laughs> Dude, I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. But Lilith thrived, empowering demon kind with her voice and her song. God, dude, she is such a... Dude, Lilith, history's first feminist. Then they wonder why it took so long for humanity to catch up. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, heaven made a truly heartless decision. Oh, shit. That every year, they would send down an army. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have moved on from uh, potential apocryphal lore um, straight into the nightosphere. Now that this is has been hotel lore. An extermination to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. The purge. But Lilith's hope remained. And her dream was passed down to their precious daughter. Wow, wow! Pat yourself on the back a little harder there. The princess of hell. Oh, wait, what? Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. Ah, Dude, we are so here. I don't know, bro. She sounds like she's been sucking on big hell, okay? Big propaganda. Big, big pharma is teaching her what to say. Bro, I cannot believe we're finally here. It's been literally years. I feel like I'm still living in a dream. Where's Verbal Ace? This man's probably losing his shit right now. Charlie? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Lesbian jump scare. Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. I was right there. <laughs> she, she narrated the, the lore out loud. <laughs> ah! Sorry. I get pretty worked up after an extermination happens. The story helps. <laughs> I know, don't worry. I enjoy your theatrics. Are you okay? I'm fine, just thinking, you know, family stuff. Did you True. hear from your mom yet? Why, 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 why are you reminding me? <laughs> this is like everyone in Invincible saying to Mark, it's like, oh yeah, remember when Omni-Man destroyed Chicago? Oh, right, that was your death. Oh, I hate that. Oof. How long has it been now? Not that long. Not that long. Only about, you know, 969 years. Only seven years off. Oof, yikes. That's how, god damn. I was exaggerating. But sheesh. Doing something important, I'm sure. But this Probably. kingdom was something she really cared about. Something I care about. Well, at least you aren't alone. I just hope. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, trying to do here will work. It'll it will. it'll totally work. Trust me. Just believe in the evil voodoo radio demon. Oh. Yes, I said it that way to get canceled. I don't regret anything. I have faith in you. All right, come on. Alistair says he has something to show us. Oh, wait, what? Alistair's already introduced? Huh? Wait, does this take place after the pilot? I thought for sure they were going to be redoing episode one, sort of. Wait, this... Okay, okay. By the way, Alistair, best boy, would love that man. Would, would. Dude, I just love the vibe. I love the aesthetic. Th this show is so good. I, I am so, so in love with this. And also, it just makes it so much better that it was, like, originated from, like, some little indie studio. Someone with a dream worked so hard to make the first episode, and boom. Look how massive it became. Amazon Prime has it. it actually insane. Do you like blood, violence, and depravity of a second? Nature? Actually, yes, that's exactly what I love. That's my favorite things. Of course you do. That's why you're in hell. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow. But what would you say if I told you there was a place to stay that had none of that? Welcome Dude, to that. This is just advertising. This is like, well, are you a depraved lunatic? Are you a coomer, a gooner? Perhaps someone ostracized by society for being somewhat cringe. Well, have you considered subscribing to my Nuxanor channel? I'm just saying. Consider subscribing now. Go to kick.com slash Nuxanor for more Nux content.
Has-been hotel, a misguided path to... Are you a gooner? Maybe? Do you edge? Redemption. Founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter... <laughs> Yo! Are there any delusional drama YouTubers you want to follow? Well, I know the place for you. Charlotte Morningstar. Come place your fate in her inexperienced hands as she tries to work through... Dude, he is really selling it. Holy shit. Her daddy issues by fixing you. Here we offer fun things... I can fix her. I can fix her. Things ...such as somewhat functional staff. Yo! That's better than the average motel, so that's a W. And 24-hour pest control. Custom rooms and just look at this turkey parlor. Enjoy riveting... <laughs> Dude, I love Angel does so much. ...station with our singular resident. <laughs> Yo, singular resident. Wow! All this and more at the Has Been Hotel. This is, this is literally the worst advertisement I've ever seen in my life, and you know what? I would absolutely go right now. I would suck Angel Dust's dick. I mean, you know what I mean. Your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here. Are you evil? Are you a gooner? Did you pay fifty thousand dollars to be in a not safe for work music video involving you getting uh? sexually trafficked across the dimensions well if you are <laughs> i have the place for you so what do you think god dude i know it's a new voice actor and i know everyone's waiting for me to tell you all my my points and my my thoughts and shit and it's just i'm not used to it and i will get used to it that's it i'm sorry what the fuck was that no uh, 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 they say swear words cancel 50 pop on twitter she said a swear word uh yeah one note Alistair, I mean <laughs> Alistair, maybe you want to make it, <laughs> you know, uh, not defamatory and uh, undercutting everything that we that we that we're promoting here. Like, I'm just just a suggestion. I mean, first off, thank you so much for making this. Bro, this is literally me talking to artists I commission on Twitter. It's like I commission them for something, and then they then they send me something that I don't really like, and I'm like, first of all, I love the idea and the direction. I love all of that. I was just thinking, can we start over, please? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I love. I love artists. Artists are so nice, and oh, they're always right. Artists are. Uh, they're always right. Seriously, amazing. But um, maybe the tone is a bit negative. Off. We want people to want to come here. No, no, no. You you did such a great job. Like if if you wanted to make an advertisement for people to not want to join the hotel, but like. We're just saying that that's not what we were going for. We actually wanted people to want to join. I know that's probably not what you were going for and all you did such a good job. Dude, she has sucked so many dicks. She has sucked so many metaphorical dicks. And one physical one being verbal ace. Hey, Milos. Dude, I love when Kickstaff joins the stream. This makes it look, um, bad. The word you're looking for is bad. Funny, I was going for hilarious. Based, based, he's right. He's right. That's just advertising in a nutshell. He's right. All news is good news. Yeah, all promotion is good promotion. Yeah, yeah. Just wait for me to get ED sponsor EDP445 to, to start promoting my YouTube channel. It'll be great. It didn't explain anything about how we're trying to save demons from extermination, which is the whole fucking point. Vaggy is right, Alistair. The commercial was to let sinners know we are trying to help them. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time. Dude, I love the animation and him moving back and forth. Oh, God, I love this character so much. Everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. Please don't do cutscenes. Don't don't make this family guy. But you insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement. So I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun? You had a little fun with it? Yes. This is not All comedy is good comedy or or something don't cancel me i'm just saying what we want to represent us when you showed up here a week ago you told us you would help run this hotel instead you're mocking us nobody's gonna want to come to a place Dude, that this is just like managers basically <laughs> it's like i am your youtube manager just give me access to your twitter account and i will help you grow like you won't even need to touch twitter and i'll just manage it and you just open up twitter and you see your last like 40 tweets are all just like slurs <laughs> Ah, could have been me. Could have been anyone. Could have been anyone. Powerful overlord like you thinks is a waste of time. Yes! Dude, I love Angel Dust so much. I am so freaking happy. Th this cast is literally all stars. What? If and you filming a commercial. Wow, that voice hit me out of nowhere. God, I miss Michael Kovac. That said, I'm probably going to get used to it. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to get used to it. It'll probably just take some time. Can I suggest you take better advantage of the talented celebrity you have right here? Bro, 
every single face, Angel, d dude. Angel, you're a porn star. Ah, uh, what were we just talking about? We were talking about famous people in hell. Porn stars are literally like la creme de la creme, okay? They are at the peak. They are at the very top. Amaranth made $57 million off OnlyFans, okay? Famous porn star. Base! He's so right! He's so right. God, he's so real. I'll have the horniest sinners knocking these walls down to get in. We are not filming a porn as a commercial. Cringe. Not based. Uh, dude, this- we are in 2024 right now. Vaggy. Dog. That is such a good idea. Porn commercial? Oh, fuck. That's so smart. Why not? Sex sells, don't it? I swear, if you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here- <laughs> just... Don't worry, I'll just fuck, uh, that guy. Yeah, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. <laughs> Never going to happen. Angel, Hilarious. I appreciate you wanting to use your special skills to, um, attract- <laughs> she, she is so politically correct. It's so cute watching her try to speak. Oh my god, bro. She's trying so hard. Listen, you have skills. I'm not saying you don't. I like the way you uh, smorgle uh, other people's beloinga loings. I'm just saying, I feel like they're this this is a skill that could be used in other areas, being that this is supposed to be rehab from sin. But like, folks, to the hotel. But I really don't want to exploit you in that way. <laughs> I don't want to exploit you. It's like when someone says, listen, I can do you a favor. I will come on your stream and I will show everyone my tits. And I'm like, listen, I I, I appreciate the offer. I just, I don't want to exploit you in that way. Like, I don't get me wrong. I just, that's very nice of you. I, I just, I, I couldn't put you through that. I couldn't do that. Oh, please, baby. This body was made to be exploited. You wonder why Twitter doesn't like this show. I got the arms. I got the stamina. True. I got the legs. Tr I got true, true, true. Femboys justice. Femboys are are just supreme. The lung capacity. <laughs> but why would you need that though? Oh. I got the legs. The gag reflex. Didn't he say legs twice? Okay. The holes. <laughs> the chest fluff. He's got the holes. He's got. <laughs> freaking love him. Uh, what the I don't know. I'm just saying, I do feel like the comedy in the actual pilot on YouTube is a lot snappier. Like, um... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Still getting over this flu. It's still sucking a little bit. Still sucking just a tad. A tad of flu suck. Entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That right? It's like, that comedy, that like really quick, snappy comedy, I feel like so far has been a little missed. Like, here, look at this scene, for example. Just the way he was talking about, I have legs and I have holes and... Don't get me wrong, it's funny as shit, okay? Here, this scene that you're about to see uh, is so snappy. And I feel like this writing does not exist so far. I'm just, I'm being critical because that's what I do, but I'm just saying. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No. Right? That, like, really snappy comedy is one of the things I think I really loved about Has Been Hotel that dragged me into it at the very beginning. And, like, the comedy so far in this official release has been a lot... A lot slower pace. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's just not what I was coming to expect. Like, I really wanted the, like, the lightning fast fuck words. I'm just saying. Thought, I'll be right back. I can keep going all night, baby. Yeah. Hello, Dad? Hey, I have a question. If Freaky Face over there is so powerful, then why can't he just make people stay here? Y'all rehab through gaslighting and blackmail. He's so right. He's so real and based for that, honestly. Oh, trust me. I can. Why do you think I'm here? You actually think I'm <laughs> God damn it. What an all-star cast. I love this place. Be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time. Dude, if you realize if Alistair would just start threatening people to join the hotel, then this, this hotel would literally just become prison. Like, in an instant, this would go from, like, a nice, cozy environment for people wanting to better themselves to literal prison in a heartbeat. I'm if he wasn't forcing me. I like being forced. So keep that to you. Yo! She just, like... Chat saying wood every time someone steps on someone else's nuts. I'm just saying, Chad, I see you. Self -myth. What? You don't love being here with me, Whiskers? Call me Whiskers again and I'll jam that bottle down your throat. Kinky. See, but I, 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 that's, again, 
I don't, I don't want to say, gah, I feel like, I'm trying to, I'm stumbling over my words trying to say this in the right way because I love the show and I love the cast. I am also just simply saying it's not as snappy as the actual comedy in Hell of a Boss and a Has-Been Hotel. Hell of a Boss and a Has-Been Hotel is like a lot sharper cuts. Come on, keep talking dirty. <sighs> Angel, let Hus do his job. And no, we can't force sinners to stay here. They need to choose to. Like, do you remember that scene in the original? Okay, let me compare these for just a moment. Are you, like, here, let, let me just show you the, the, the side by side, okay? First, look I'm at this one. I'm choosing to be here, and I think it's all stupid. We're in hell. Hold down your throat. Kinky. Come on, keep talking dirty. Right? So you got that, which was. Again, I mean, I, we get the joke, hilarious. But now, look at how that compares to this joke. Oh, sorta of clean. As clean as you can get on a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> oh, harder, Daddy. Son. <laughs> like, that scene, I, I know, look, that's not peak comedy, but it's just like the surprise reaction. The, his, the surprised way he said harder daddy to the surprised reaction of snake guy saying son to him freaking out that wait a second that's not what i meant at all like that back and forth was so fast whereas this was just like <gasps> we all knew exactly where it was going the whole time damn that bottle down your throat kinky come on keep talking dirty like Again, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just, th this is my, my critical review and I'm absolutely loving the shit out of it. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> Angel, let Hus do his job. And no, we can't force sinners to stay here. They need to choose to. Lame. To be here, and I think it's all stupid. Maybe. We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Hey, whatever means I can keep crashing here rent free. Crack is expensive. Dude, so real and base. Just watch Adventure Time. <laughs> hey, listen, whatever you tell yourself. It's like, I'm making an apology video. I am not sorry that I scanned my audience of $600,000 when I said I was going to give it to charity and I kept it. I am sorry that I was caught. And for that, I apologize. Yeah, I can. Totally. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. Okay. Ah, oh, she's so cute and awesome. God, I, I don't know. I would pay fifty thousand dollars for a fucking self-insert rape porn fantasy. If you don't get that reference, you are gonna think I am such a gooner, and you're right. Huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ah, what? <sighs> What's okay, going on? she's bouncing. That's a good sign. My dad just called. He said that the leader of the angel army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But. But the extermination just happened. <sighs> Yo, that's awesome! What could they want this soon after- I can do this. So we're getting a music video. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. Musical time! Somehow I know it. I'll get heaven behind my plan. But I do, you could definitely appreciate and, and respect the fact that they really went all out and they made it a musical. Literal musical taking place in hell. Honestly, nothing but respect. Charlie, hold on. There's just no way I could blow it. Not this once in a lifetime chance. Dude, and everyone's watching is like, hmm, this bitch delusional. Just a meeting to change their minds and touch their hearts or whatever angels have. This could be bad. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. Angel anatomy is based. Don't worry. Again. Just the, the, the singing, the upbeat music, watching people murder each other in the background. That was awesome. <laughs> Banger! That was fantastic. Y'all are just hating. I saw people hating on the musicals in this. Dude, that was so good! Hello? 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 Creepy. Okay. Oh, okay. Also creepy. Dude, I love how like wholesome things happen and she's like creepy. And then she goes past nipple tassel executioner motherfucker and she's like, oh, oh little citizen, I will make things better for you. But this, this is creepy. Signing in. Oh, fuck, that's creepy as shit. And then go, literally walks outside and see people eating each other's brains. Oh, what a normal day in hell. Uh, hello? Wait a minute, am I right, guys? 
anyone here? Sup? Holy shit. Hi, um, I'm Charlie. My dad asked me- Hey guys, Charlie here. Just wanted to let you know that I wanted to talk about dildos exploding in the hearts of a YouTube drama farmer. He thought he could get away with faking his death on camera, but then he ended up shoving a dildo up of his spinal cord. It was so weird, he shit flames for months on end. Now I know I put my pants on one nipple at a time like everyone else, but I was thinking- <laughs> Dude, if she would go there and literally break down the Nux Critical, break. That would be the Charlie content everyone needed. Hey, if I could meet you. Yeah, I know. Okay, well- Yo, we didn't meet any angels, so th this is actually huge. Until here, this was just kind of the plot recap, kind of, from the pilot that we saw. This is awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. Totally. Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Ah, I fucking got you. Did you fucking see that? Well, dude, why are the angels <laughs> why are the angels like this? Good shit. Uh so Yeah, I got him. Annihilated. You thought you were gonna shake my hand, but it was really a whoopee cushion after all. You were absolutely fooled. You aren't here? No. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no, I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. But it's such a bummer, man. Everything down there is You're just so... Blah, you know? <laughs> Dude, this is just me collabing with other people. It's like, wait, I thought we were going to collab. Not just you send me a pre-recorded message saying Cappy to be here. And I'm like, listen, oh, I would collab with you, but oh, fuck. You're just... You, you have six subscribers. Like, oh, God. Oh, God. You, you, have, you don't even have any cloud. <laughs> Ew. Right. So, I'm happy we got this opportunity to meet. There's a project I've been- Dude, she's literally so wholesome. It's, like, absolutely insane. I, I think the appeal of Hasbin Hotel is just the fact that someone this wholesome could be living in hell. Working on that I really want to talk to you about- Hey, 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 slow down. Slow down? I'm not verbal ace. I didn't spend $50,000 for you to get all in my face. By the way, Kickstaff, hey, Buho, I, I know you're here. Uh, thank you for literally telling me before my stream, oh, hey- Please don't react to the verbal ace porn. <laughs> we got time. How about we get to know each other a little? Mm, how about some lunch? You hungry? I got. Wow. Wow. Look at this dude. Angel Riz. Holla Grizz right here. Dude. You. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Uh, thank you. That ribs. <laughs> got him again. Wow. Annihilated. You again, bitch! <laughs> Dude, wow, these oh my god, this Rizzler guy, someone gotta get to look at this face. It's my face when someone hits me with a D's nuts joke. Like it's literally the same energy. Fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, I was talking to I was talking to Animac the other day. I don't even remember what I said. I said it's a hard pill to swallow, and he's like, Swallow these nuts! And he literally laughed for five minutes straight. This was my reaction the entire time. The entire time! <laughs> <laughs> just staring at each other. Okay, so Charlie's dealing with something very important. So while she's gone, we are making a new commercial. One that represents her vision and what we're doing here. So, we need a camera. Alistair? A video camera? Uh. Listen, it's not easy to be all powerful and have a sense of humor, okay? I could do one, but both is difficult. All right, let's do this. Based. And... Action. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Can I help you with anything? Well, I've been a bad boy. Dude, this is why you need porn stars everywhere. I'm just saying, you throw them at people and it works. Ask the kick staff in my chat why they paid Amaranth to come to kick. I'm just saying! And I need a big, strong daddy to put me in my place. Yes! Yes! Dude, can I get this guy to please advertise my YouTube channel? Man is actually a content god! A content god on god on god! Bro! We need this guy to start advertising my channel. Hey, do you want to subscribe to Nuxtagu? Hey, do you want to... <laughs> you know, I need a big, strong man to Yes, the fanboys. We need fanboy advertisers ASAP. On the path to redemption. Yes, yes, he's perfect! <sighs> well, you come. Uh, you come, oh yes I do! Oh yes! Am I good or what? Am I literally good or what? How did I pause it on the cum knowing that was happening? Am I literally just the best? Come on, come on! Just say it right here! To the right place. Cut. 
Okay, Angel, I I'm just saying that was perfect. Nux is off to horny jail. No, I'm already in a state of post-nut clarity. I've nutted all over the place for the last 45 minutes. I need you to be less horny if possible. And Lame, Buzzkill! Boo! That'll suck. It'll have bad ratings. I'm just saying. Hus, can you maybe not have the script in front of your face? I ain't no actor. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could improv this shit, baby cakes. Rawr. <laughs> I love him so much. Post Nux Clarity. Bro, I love him so much. <laughs> Whoops. Husk, come on. So I was playing this gig, and for some fucking reason, this virtue chick was digging on the drummer, and it's like, do you know who I am? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original. Wait, what? <coughs> what? No. Dick. All dicks descend from me. I mean, technically true i guess you think you want drummer dick no way i'm the dick fucking master <clears throat> dude adam fell off last time i saw you you were in records of ragnarok and goddamn that i love you mm. so anyway then we fucked and it was awesome mm. what'd you do this weekend wait your name is adam like the first man adam that means you uh... <coughs> That explains so much. I know, I fucking- Oh, no, no! He cheated on his wife with a mouse. Rock. Well, Adam, sir. Mr. Adam, sir. Call me Dick Master. He's my spirit animal. Literally. It's like someone's, hey, Nux, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Only if you call me Dick Lord Nuxel Dicks. Dick Lord Nuxel Dicks, you want to get sponsored by this? <laughs> no, my managers. All right, kick staff. You guys have been really cool being in chat until now. But from this moment forward, you will refer to me as Lord, Lord Dickmaster. Put that in my contract. Adam, you seem like a smart- Do you want a name change on kick two? No, 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 please, please, no, no, no. Well, stand up, guy. Uh-huh. And I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker, a revolutionary, a, a genius. I mean, your words, babe. Who would- <laughs> Thank you for sucking my- uh, oh, Dude, he literally called himself Dickmaster. It was that easy. Really love to put his name on something. Fucking love putting my name on shit. Shit's the best. It's a- Yes, yes! Okay, this guy's great. Adam is freaking awesome. I did not expect to fall in love with a new character solution to our biggest problem oh herpes yeah that's a bitch yeah dude base true dude dude fifi after the our uh our vacation yeah that was uh anyway we'll editor cut that out don't don't include the fifi vacation uh thing uh, we, we don't need that here no our other biggest problem oh uh ugly people math dude honestly based this guy's so cool uh say uh say uh say fat people next say something racist Global warming? No, wait, that's no, that's not real. Earth's problem. Um. <laughs> oh my God, dude. All right, Nifty, Nifty, Nifty. That that is the the least practical way to kill bugs I've ever seen in my entire life. Your line is, we have the cleanest rooms. Okay. Got it. I'm ready. Action. <laughs> Literally me when I start recording. I have a script. I have 26 pages in front of me taking down a pedophile cult. Okay, a goddamn a, a legendary script. I start the recording and I'm just like uh, Boobs No thoughts in that brain. No, sir Yep, uh Cut how was that? Well, Nifty, you actually- You, you did okay! Uh, d try one more time. I actually have to say the line, so let's roll again. Okay. Action. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Words are hard, okay? Listen. You wouldn't understand. You're doing great, vagina. Cut. Yeah! Dude, I was calling her that for four years. Four years of me calling Vaggy vagina, and finally it's paid off! Now everyone could say pre-watched from four years ago. What? All right, uh, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. Welcome to the Haskin Hotel. <sighs> Yo, she needs Stevie for real, for real. Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess they've been there. Well, why are you even here? Because it annoys you, and annoying people gives me strength. God, Alistair's just like me. For the entertainment. Wow, he literally is me. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. God, he's just like me. That's crazy. Like you are doing now. Good job. 
And here is Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit that... Ugh. Ugh. I wouldn't try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. Oh, fuck. He's so scary. He's literally so scary. Dude, I, I love him so much. This Yo, this face was made for radio, too. That's why I do the this. It's not that I'm ugly. I'm just too powerful. Honesty. I'm God. I'm God. I, 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 I look like Channing Tatum, okay? I just don't do the face reveal because I, I'm too strong. So, I mean, yeah, not that. Anyway, onward. That's it. I don't care who or what you are. If you're staying here, you're going to make this work because it won't be so entertaining to watch over an... Dude, I love I love when, when people threaten people when they have literally no power. It's like there's something so comedic about it. Empty hotel. Will it shit ass? Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. Oh, God. Whenever people say that, I get like the Bill Cipher flashbacks. It's the, let's make a, a deal. <laughs> You think I'm that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Your choice. Oh, God, I love how many how he gave him choices. That was so nice. <laughs> this is like the ultimate ultimatum of choices. It's like, hey, Nux, would you like to um, get sponsored and, and promote NordVPN or never get another brand deal again ever again? <laughs> well, you know, when you put it that way, of course I'll be sponsored by NordVPN. Don't worry. <sighs> Fine. He's such a nice guy. Volunteering like this. One more time. All right, everyone. Let's make a fucking commercial. Yo, that was amazing. Wait, hold up. That was that was amazing. Wait, wait, wait. wait. All right, they all change. I don't know. Angel Dust gets a whole suit. She gets like that cute thing. And then it goes. <laughs> wait, wait. Nothing changes. God, that's incredible. All right, everyone. Let's make a fucking commercial. You know when you take her out for the fifth time and she still expects you to pay the check, but you're. Yo, dude, this is just gender equality. Gender equality. You pay for the fucking food, lady. I'm just saying. Like, hey, I thought you wanted equality. No, our dude, Adam is literally just like me. I just said, I just said his line before. I listen. There's a reason why he's he goes by Dick Master, and and and, and I am known as as the Nux Tatorship. Okay, listen, we are the same guy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's my grandpa. This is literally my grandpa. Cameo of Nux's grandpa. Our shared problem of overpopulation in hell. Oh. Well, that's not a problem. We got that covered. Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Got a good 275 this year, sir. 275? Whoa! Badass! Awesome job, Danger Tits. Pound it. Uh, no. Not awesome. Uh, reverse pound it! Okay, we are trying to avoid the genocide if possible. I'm just saying. Those are my people. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. That must suck for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are souls. It is like, you, dude, what the? It's like, dude, you just made a critical video of me, and I lost 6,000 subscribers after you said that I was committing charity fraud. Oh, well. Shouldn't have committed charity fraud then, dingus! Cuban souls, just the same as the ones you have up in heaven. They are not the same. They had their chance, and they earned damnation. You're wrong. Sinners made mistakes, sure, but everyone makes mistakes. Angels don't make mistakes. You really think that? I know that. Yeah, I've never made a mistake in my fucking life. The only reason you're still here is because Daddy gave you and your hellborn kind a pardon from an exorcist blade. Oh, how does that feel? To know how little you matter. I'm just saying she should have whipped out the moist critical voice. She should have whipped out the moist critical voice. Hey guys, it's me, moist critical. You know you made a mistake when you're being insulted by literally the, the, the grandfather of all penises. But if, if I had a penis like that, guys, I wouldn't make mistakes like that at all. Oops, almost out of time. Guess this meeting was like kind of like a septic tank crashing into a slightly bigger septic tank so that the spewage was everywhere. It was kind of like a time where I had a slip and slide adventure with your mother. Your geriatric mother was not prepared for me to go into a slip and slide with her vagina. It was kind of crazy. That's kind of how this meeting went. It was wild. We should get into it. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time, and I feel like you weren't hearing me before. 
so here it goes. <clears throat> Dude, she's literally just a baggage, baggage of sunshine. She is so perfect for this series. I know Hell's population is out of control. Oh my god, she's doing this song! That's insane! It's a bad situation. It's taking a toll. If we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls at my has-been hotel. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, extermination. I know you guys fly down just to kill once a year. Kind of based, not gonna lie, it's awesome. It must be annoying to schlep all the way here. Schlep! Schlep! Listen, I was okay with the Adam Dickmaster jokes, but you are not going to make d demons and hellspawn speaking Yiddish. That is too far and not b I take it, that's so based. I take it all back. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. You can wave at your farewell. Save us all precious time. Oh, no, no way. Adam is going to start singing. Dude, this is the best show of all time. This is the best show of all time. This is the best show of all time. People were, were, were harping on episode one that it wasn't good. You suck. If what you're suggesting is letting them climb up the ladder, oh, they'd rather cross the pearly gates. Well, uh... Sorry, sweetie, but there's no defying their fates because hell is forever. Bro, dude, it's so good. Why are we getting such a good song right now? Why was I not ready? Like it or not. Honestly, that that was way too good. What the fuck? Why is rock and roll Adam killing it? I take it back, records of Ragnarok. Huge L. Try to chillax, babe. You're wasting your breath. <laughs> Did I hear you imply that they don't deserve death? Are they winners? Are they sinners? Cause it's cut and dry. Well, actually, if you take a fair is fair, and I for an eye. Hey, hey, hey. That's. The, I mean, I mean, you can't argue with that. When all said and done, there's the question of. I had to stop for just a moment. Let me just tell you that this was fucking awesome. I am so mad at critics that were shitting on this. You, you guys are, you guys suck. You expected something that this is not. This has the soul of Has Been Hotel. Dude, it's like the ultimate Beetlejuice punk rock emo Adam over here. I, no one expected this and it's incredible. I'm gonna listen to this on repeat forever. Dude, it's kind of, kind of awesome. It's just living in that life where, where you, the point of your existence is just to live long enough until we kill you. So you go to hell and live long enough until we kill you again. And honestly, I mean, yeah. Man, just Dude, this is just every contract, every single like CEO in every company ever, dude. Bro, look at this. Look at this. This is just every contract with a powerful company in the history of time. It's just all right. So, so, so let me lay out the terms and conditions. Fuck you. I do what I want. L plus ratio, plus you're a whore, dude. Why is that so perfect? Uh, by the way, Kick, uh, I'm just saying your contract was very cool and nice and fair and I signed it and I didn't hear back from you. I mean, I, uh, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's freaking do it. I know that wasn't very professional of me. I'm just saying I'm very excited to be streaming on the platform. It's been a week, but we'll be back in six months. Oh, wait, can you... Dude, why did they even have this meeting? They literally just came in... <laughs> Bro, what was this meeting? So I'll be back in six months. They, why were they here? Oh, shit. Charlie. How did it go? Did they listen? Uh, uh, does Amazon care about minimum wage employees? I'll let you answer that. Oh, uh, they sure did. Here it. 
but, um... Oh, come here! We have something exciting to show you. Uh-oh. Alistair pulled some strings and it's about to air. Alistair, let's freaking go! Why did the quality just dip? I pulled a few limbs, too. <laughs> Wait, the commercial? You all made a new one? Yeah, one of my better performances, if I do say so myself. I've only sucked six dicks, but honestly, it's been kind of based. They were pretty good dicks, all in all. I normally like a gangbang to have at least seven or eight dicks so I can think of an octopus while it's happening. But I'm just saying, there were six dicks, but honestly, they were pretty good. One of them was longer than average, one of them was shorter than average. Honestly, it was just the right amount of dickage. That's... That's amazing. Shh. Dude, she's so wholesome. I love how freaking... It's so cute how she gets, like, so emotional that, wait a second, this thing, this project, people are actually helping me. Like, she could see so much wholesomeness in such a bleak and dark and horrible rea reality. It is perfect. Stoughton. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Breaking news in hell today. We have just received word. Wait! The it's Brandon Rogers! No! No! It's not Brandon Rogers! What? ...from the heaven embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. Do you know what that means, Tom? No! What does that mean, Katie? It means we're all royally fucked. <laughs> Wait. What? Why? Are we getting Cobra Guy? We found the body, sir. They've never managed to kill one of us before. We should just- Oh, fuck. This plot is getting so much crazier than I expected. I literally thought it was- Dude, I literally thought this at this season was just gonna be like a slice of life, wholesome comedy trying to get these sinners to repent, but it- There's like an actual political crisis between heaven and hell? Holy moly, that's awesome! Go down there now and destroy them. No, no. We can't risk them catching on. But don't... Oh, oh. Don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Oh, shit. Dude, that was incredible, baby. That was so good. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.